Hi, today I want to share with you how to make popsicles with clay. Many years ago, when I took a clay dessert certificate course, I learned some basic techniques, but I had to come up with uh, some products or some um, some way of uh, making desserts or confectionery things like that with clay by myself. So I came up with popsicles. For this one, since the course limited the use of clay uh, to certain brands, so I didn't use uh, translucent clay, so I just used um, cold porcelain. And later on, when I learned about uh, this brand of Jap Japanese brand of translucent clay, I started to use it uh, for many products. Today, I want to make popsicles with this color instead. I use translucent clay for the sake of its translucency, so I can't add acrylic paint onto the clay. And I have to add oil paint, but I can't get hold of oil paint with this color, so I used food coloring instead. Actually, I made two for the sake of this video, but uh, I wanted to really to try oil paint so I used uh, this cobalt blue hue, but once I added a very tiny amount on the clay, I found that uh, it was um, too um, gray in color. So, but I thought that, well, since I added only very little, so it, uh, it doesn't really matter. But uh, you can see that it turns out it really turns gray. The color uh, is turned gray, unlike this one. Regardless of uh, the translucency, this one uh, has a, a more vibrant color. And for this one, I added one more coat of uh, the food coloring on top, and then uh, two layers of glossy X, uh, glossy varnish. But for this one, I just want to show you before I add one more coat of um, the um, food coloring and also uh, before the uh, glossy varnish, you can see that uh, it already has some uh, gloss over the top. Besides, I think uh, the these two popsicles are too small, they are too short, so I want to make a longer one. So I'll uh, demonstrate how to make them with um, translucent clay and food coloring. I've already mixed uh, some food coloring in it. You can see that I used toothpick dip into the food coloring and then put the food coloring into the clay. So don't just pour it onto the clay. Otherwise, uh, when it's uh, too much, then you have to use tons of clay to dilute it. By the way, this is one end of a coffee stirrer that I got from a hotel room.
Did you notice that when I stuck in this stick, I stuck it in a little bit more and then pulled it out a little bit? Because when I stuck it in, the clay surrounding it would be pulled inward. So I had to take it out a little bit again so as to bring out the clay again. If you find that the hole here is too large, you may want to use a toothpick to narrow it, just to push the clay around to narrow the hole. You may even need to add some glue. like so and use the, the other end when I made the indentation I used this stylus and also when I made a hole here I also used this stylus because uh, it is non-stick but when I narrowed the hole here, I used toothpick instead because I don't know if I can show you. Um, actually, it has some uh, grooves on it. It has some ridges on it because I used a um, razor to make some grooves because this stylus is actually used uh, for baking flower petals to make some uh, texture on it. Let me show you a bit. So this is uh, the, the clay that I want to make a flower. Because the scissors are not non-stick, so it sticks to the scissors a little bit. Okay. Can you see the texture? I hope you can see the texture. see that I added only very little uh, food coloring on it and it's very light in color but when it dries it darkens a lot it may darken to this or even darker just give you an example when I made this raspberry you can see that it is still very translucent but when I made the color, mixed the color, I made this color, this pink. But when it dries, it is like this. I hope the camera can pick up the translucency of this piece. So for other kinds of resin clay or air dry clay, the color will darken by about uh, a value of one one value on the scale of one to ten but uh, for translucent clay i don't know why it will darken at least two values or even more it also takes longer for translucent clay to dry for these two it took about a week so i will let it dry and let you see the result are the end results for these two, I added the grayish blue oil paint and for this one, I had uh, another coat of uh, the food coloring, turquoise food coloring on top. For this one, I added only very thin layer of food coloring on top. So you can see that this one is darker and these two are grayer than these two which I didn't add the uh, grayish blue oil paint 
And for this one, I also had a very thin layer of the turquoise food coloring on top. And for this one, I didn't add anything. And you can see that uh, they are all very translucent. And for all of them, I added about uh, three layers of glossy varnish on top. Which effect do you like the best? 